Students anxiously awaiting word on financial aid after a delay in the federal program. The free application for federal student aid, known as FAFSA, underwent several changes last year. And that resulted in months-long delays, with the clock ticking for many students. TV5's James Belton joins us in the studio to break it down. James? David Meg, the Director of Scholarships and Financial Aid at Saginaw Valley State University tells me the FAFSA now has fewer questions to answer, has changes to eligibility requirements, and adjustments to the Student Aid Index. With the U.S. Department of Education making these changes, the FAFSA has been delayed, and as a result, students have to wait longer for their award letters. Award letters normally go out in the first week of December. Uh, so. December of 2023 would have been uh, the time that they would actually receive them. Um, so now we're looking at months later, unfortunately. Robert Lemuel, Director of Scholarships and Financial Aid at Saginaw Valley State University, tells me students should get their award letter by early April, four months later than normal. This is because of a delay with the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, known as FAFSA. The U.S. Department of Education made changes to the FAFSA in 2023. Every university around the country is in the same position, so I would say to students is that um, don't give up on the process. It's late. Uh, definitely it's not your fault. Um, we'll, we'll obviously do the best that we can, and our best is we'll get the award letters out to people. So once you get your award letter, uh, look at it right away. Make sure you look at your estimated cost, and then begin to start uh, looking at you know what are the things that you have to do to get to help pay for any type of cost if you don't have enough in your award letter. SVSU student Tara Zuper says she likes the new FAFSA with fewer questions to answer. I finally was able to do it around the first week of January and compared to last year it was significantly shorter. It took me like maybe 10 minutes if that. Fellow Cardinal Anna Mazurkovich says she's having trouble with the new FAFSA and for her the clock is ticking. I'm struggling to be able to apply for scholarships because a lot of them require my FAFSA and being unable to fill that out makes it so I can't apply for scholarships that I'm going to miss the deadlines for. She fears that she may have to apply for more student loans instead. It's not something she wants to do. As for Lemuel, he wants students to know they don't have to navigate the FAFSA and the changes that come with it alone. We'll be here, you know, especially April, May, actually March. April, May through through August and, and beyond to help students get situated uh, in terms of their, their financial situation. Lemuel tells me the changes the U.S. Department of Education made to the FAFSA will make over 600,000 more students across the country eligible for Pell Grants, a key component in most financial aid packages. James, thank you. For more information on FAFSA, head to the hotlink section of WNEM.com.